hey my loves i usually never comment or go deep into what's going on i'm actually very unaware most of the time of what's happening around me or on social media because i don't get on often but i've been led to see how black china's been having her testimony openly shared and it's been viral so i feel like this relates to a message that my pastor had recently went over like just two weeks ago and i wanted to break it down like what's kind of going on if people are just really not aware of in the bible that god speaks about this and so the specific instagram post i seen where what stood out to me when they were saying she changed her name and there's multiple scriptures where God changes your name. And what people really don't realize is that the demons inside you can change your name. They tell you these things and what to do. And so the text is going to come from Mark chapter 5, verse 8. And so the background of this story is Jesus heals a man possessed by demons and this man was so strong, like nobody could tame him, no matter how many chains was put on him. Nobody could do anything to put this person in check because it was so many demons. And so then the man asked, like, what must I do to be freed from these demons? So then, because he didn't want to be tormented anymore. So then Jesus says, for he said unto him, come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. And then Jesus asked him, what is thy name? The man answered saying, my name is Legion, for we are many. And so I relate this to Black China's because she also made a comment in her story, no, in her interview, how when she was getting her lip fillers, her injections, and just living her lifestyle the way she wanted to, she didn't really realize what she was doing. And I relate to that, like when you're out into the world or you don't even realize how your lifestyle is so unpleasing to God or it's not a good influence. You just, you're just basically following what's going on in the world, following the crowd. And you're not really having a mind for yourself because a lot of things become normalized. So because things are normalized, you perceive it as this is how everyone acts. But then God calls you out and he touches you. But Black China said in the interview how she didn't realize what she was doing and things were free. And that's another reason many people do things is because things are easy with the devil. Following Jesus is hard and most things you will have to work for. But she also said like that fast money, that anything that comes too easily is not worth it. But like with God, anything that you have to be patient for, or you have to work hard for or put a lot of effort in, that's usually the most valuable thing. A lot of people t can agree to that. Just like with men, if a girl or just like with women, if a boy is too easy or a female is too easy, it's probably not the best thing worth your time. It usually turns out to be the worst thing ever. Just like with our fake fast food, like things that are, are too easy too easily accessed or just come to us too easily it's not always the best or good quality and that can be a revelation in many areas in life so what is thy name when we think about that verse i relate this to how people label the people on the streets as crackheads and so they don't realize that's not that person's name. That's them demons in there. Demons will give you a label. That's not who you are. God wants to know your real name. And so I was so proud of Black China and just also telling her story, using her voice, using her platform to be a testimony for Jesus because God gives you a new name and he shows you that you're his. And that whatever demons you faced in life, whatever things tormented you, whatever lifestyle you lived, that is not your name. That is not your truth. People are going to still try to know you as that. But she 
doesn't care and she literally says is going by her real name angela white and i'm just saying this to say that this is nothing but the work of the holy spirit and god because when you're living a demonic lifestyle you don't even know why you do the things you do but it's because you're not being led by the spirit you're being led by many demons like we can have up to three thousand to six thousand demons in our spirit and possessing us speaking to us telling us how to move and what to do and so back to the scripture in verse 12 all, it says and all the devils besought him saying send us into the swine that we may enter into them and jesus allowed them to and the unclean spirits went out and entered into the swine and the herd ran violently down a steep place into the sea they were about two thousand and were choked in the sea and they that fed the swine fled and told it in the city and in the country and they went out to see what it was done see, see the the swine violently going into the sea so that the demons will make you want to kill yourself that's a form of suicide and that's a spirit and so if you have over 2,000 demons in you that can make you do some crazy things that's why people don't understand why people have done some evil heinous crimes and it's because they got over 2,000 demons living inside them and controlling their spirit they have total possession and control over their actions that they didn't even want to live. A demon can cause you to not even want to live. They will torment you. And so I just say this to say that de the devil is real. Demon possession is real. And that many people, you have to get delivered from those demons. You can't just say you're a Christian and think you might be de demon free. No, you have to get deliverance. And deliverance is when Jesus says, come out. Or a pastor says, come out. Or you get baptized in the Holy Spirit. So that that is the spirit controlling you. And leading you. And suppressing your flesh. So I love you guys. And I hope you guys have a blessed day.